एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली फुटबॉल यू आर वॉचिंग एफ सी गोवा टी वी ऑन प्रूडेंट एंड आई एम नीरज प्रभु द गॉड्स हैव स्टम्बल टू दियर सेकेंड गोल लेस ड्रॉ विद इन अ पीरियड ऑफ एट डेज एज दे जस्ट कुड नॉट ब्रीच द डिफेंस ऑफ डेली डायनमोज ऑन मंडे नाइट इन न्यू डेली इट इज रेयर टू सी सर्जियो लुबेराज बॉयज मिस फायर एंड सेटल फॉर अ गोल लेस ड्रॉ बट फुटबॉल एज अनप्रडिक्टेबल इट कैन बी uh we all uh, had have to live with it and that's how fc goa uh, fared last night uh, it was a point that takes fc goa to 25 uh, points now in 14 games it means that fc goa still have last four games to play and probably they would need at least uh, five points uh, to qualify for the all important uh, playoffs which is the primary target of the gods today in our studio as always uh, we have a former india striker uh, francis de souza with us uh, francis uh, nil nil uh, stalemate uh, for fc goa in close uh, proximity after even last uh, monday night also produced a uh, uh, stalemate uh, surprised by the misfiring uh, fc goa yeah not only me niraj i think the fans must be disappointed uh, because you have a high scoring team like fc goa Uh, Koro at his best and uh, uh, a strong contender for the Golden Boot. Uh, I think they they really never got uh, into the rhythm uh, as was as is expected of FC Goa. Uh, they created half chances, uh, not uh, the chances that uh, they could convert. Uh, they maintained possession of the ball and uh, Brandon had a good outing yesterday. Uh, he had his good tries, uh, but all the same. Uh, Uh, like Lobera's philosophy is that we want a lot of goals, and we we didn't get even one yesterday. Right. So it's very very disappointing because uh, the coach's philosophy is playing attacking football. Try to score as many goals as possible. Don't worry about your defense or how many goals you will concede. Uh, in that aspect, definitely there's a worry and there's a concern because we are getting uh, into this uh, stalemate or uh, uh, doubt where whether we can qualify for the f- final four. but uh, there is always uh, the hope that our team having good uh, forward line and good quality players uh, we will do rem- well in the remainder of the matches but then it's always a feeling that uh, fans and everybody like to see uh, the issue settled uh, earlier right. as possible and don't get into something what you got uh, last year uh, trying to grab every point that you can get and fight fight for your yeah, life and a little exist- bit desperate existence situation. yeah so uh, i could you could have you could have avoided it because delhi didn't have a forward line who could uh, score goals although they made, they played uh, very consistent and attacking football but uh, to me they looked like uh, the, a team that couldn't score against even a weak uh, defense like uh, fc goa do you agree that the players uh, may be a bit tired after playing three games in eight days No, I don't think uh, Niraj because uh, they are all professional football players. Uh, they have many methods of recovery now uh, with them. Uh, so fatigue uh, in 48 hours, uh, I don't think it should matter much. Maybe maybe the climate uh, might have made them a little more lethargic because that's winter there in Delhi. So that could play a little bit on the players. But uh, the intention is very clear, Niraj. You got to go there and perform, and you can go, you have to go and get the. results and when you are a professional foot, football your mindset is built on those lines and you have to deliver and you have to go there and you uh, you are playing against a team uh, that uh, is at the bottom uh, almost uh, trying to play for pride there uh, and i think uh, if they had to score in the first 15 or 20 minutes i think uh, things would have been different right देड एक महीन इंटरनेशनल ब्रेका उपरांत आई एस एल जे सुरू जाए पास आज मेरे तीन गेमी एफ सी गोवा खेल गेल्ल्या सोमारा जमशेटपुराड फातोड्या गेम जाली ती गोल्ले स्ट्रॉ जाली उपरांत शुक्रारा एफ सी गोवा मुंबई सिटीत मुंबई खेळ थंय दोन गोलांनी जिंकले आणि आता सोमारा झिरो झिरो ड्रॉ जाली दिल्ली डायनामोजाड हांगा टीम जी सर्जियो लॉबेरान देवयली स्टार्टींग इलेवन तातून एडू बेडिया नाशिल्लो आणि गोलकीपर मोहम्मद नवाजूय नाशिल्लो दोगांकूय मातशे इंजरी निगल आशिल्ल्यान दोगांकूय रेस्ट दिलो अशें समजता सो these two players uh, having been rested did uh, lobera have some chance to experiment if he 
wanted to or provide uh, maybe some uh, opportunity to Navin Kumar, the goalkeeper who, uh, who had been resigned in January. You have, you have three or four, uh, four games left uh, for the remainder of the qualifying round for, for the last four. Uh, it was justified because uh, you don't like to put a uh, player with niggles uh, to agree with the situation in case of Edu Bedia, mm. I think. So, it was the right decision for him and the players who play there. Uh, uh, like Bumos uh, in place of everybody else. That, that uh, little difference uh, would not matter much because uh, he is also capable of individually creating those openings and the chances and keeping the pressure on uh, the opponents. Uh, but overall the team uh, did not really click and fire as they are known to fire and yes. the fluency and the, the energy coordination, the energy level was low. Uh, except for Brandon, who yes. who tried to move a lot uh, and initiate a lot of uh, tries at the goal and uh, trying to prompt his team to get into scoring positions. I think uh, even even the other players looked. Even Edu Bedia coming on in the second half uh, had a couple of uh, chances. Yes, of course, that's that's what he does. But if you have seen him, uh, he he was not at his yes. free flowing self. Uh, you could see that he he was he went for on ball. Uh, which was passed to him uh, half-heartedly, not as the Edu Bedia we would know who would flick the ball and score. So, the niggle did play on his mind mm -hmm. and he tried to play safe because of the other matches that they are having. So, it was justified to play in this pattern. But uh, having such a, such a quality of players uh, who are look dangerous on the top of the box and Koro of, of it all, I think they should have had those three points uh, yesterday. Uh, a couple of players uh, didn't look like they were up for challenge. I mean, uh, over the last three games, uh, Jackie Chan Singh has looked a bit off colour, and I'm not sure how Lanny uh, Rodriguez has been doing. So, what's your assessment of these two players? No, in fact, Jackie Chan, I thought that he could he could never get behind his left back and put the ball uh, crosses in the centre. I mean, that's what he lacked. Because every time he went to the uh, byline and uh, he turned back and he got the balls on his left foot and he tried to do something with his left foot, which is not his strong foot. Yeah. So, in, in that respect, he, he, he could not do much on the flank uh, yesterday. Lenny itself tried to come uh, too deep uh, below uh, because Edubedia was not there right. in the first half. And he was doing a little bit of what Edubedia normally was doing. So, I think the in initial movement and fluency in the midfield on top of the uh, final third that was that was missing and that that is why they couldn't create too many chances lani also is disappointing with his long rangers i know earlier in uh, his career he used to have a good stinging long ranger but he doesn't have uh, enough uh, power nowadays to test uh, the rival goalkeeper in fact it's it's always the first option for a player who's coming off after a long break uh, uh, confidence is low and it's good to, for a player not to go for full blast at the shots he takes. I mean, he should try to keep it on target. Right. And uh, that's how your own individual confidence starts building. Uh, it gives you confidence. Like uh, Brendan had a good try, yes. which sailed a couple of inches over the crossbar. Uh, I mean, if he had to put a little more less power, I think mm -hmm. it would create problem for um, uh, the custodian, the Delhi custodian. So, you've you got to decide, you've got to take your decisions very quickly. And what you are, you, you, in fact, your mental preparation for the match uh, should be on your own self-belief and, and on your self-fitness. I mean, that's where you, you can start uh, dictating terms or doing things on the ground. Culture game in third chance is Nashile. Poon Tatudla Tatund, FC Goa, four shots target are Nashile. Mundagaz, Delhi Dynamo, as a goalkeeper, Francisco Doron Soron, four saves. Delhi Dynamo was also a short target. Navin Kumar uh, was not called in uh, to make any uh, great uh, contribution re with regards to saves. Well, a uh, point is a point uh, that keeps FC Goa in third position. It could get tricky, but uh, the fact is that in the last remaining four games, FC Goa have three matches to play at home. So, that should uh, give a lot of uh, confidence and a bit of a cushion for the Gors. In fact, uh, it's never a thing like this that you have matches at home uh, which can assure you points. Sure. Uh, I mean, you should take a game at a time and you should play your football trying to win every match that you should get, whether it's home or it's away. I mean, uh, you may get a little advantage of having a home ground backing you. But uh, you should not uh, be thinking that you have another three games at the back of 
you and we can rely on getting points later on. I think you should try to finish the story right from the day when you go to the matches now. I mean, you should try to get those three points and you should target at least 30 points for you Absolutely. to be assured of a place in the... Right. Uh, it will be a uh, bit tricky uh, as ATK are also in the hunt now after their victory over Jamshedpur. And the next match that FC Goa play is on uh, 14th February with their uh, bitter rivals ATK. Yeah, I mean, Lanzarote is there. He is he's he's in form. In form. Uh, you see, it's very creditable performance and uh, uh, rightly deserved the two goals for his brilliant uh, free, free kicks. Uh, he knows what he is doing in his matches. He knows how he has to go about uh, uh, trying to win a match. Uh, Steve Coppell also is very, very clever yes. coach. Uh, his strategies and his tactics are very, very good. So, we will have a good game at hand. But uh, at home, playing at home against the ATK, I think we should we should win that match. Chauda Darge Upran, FC Goa, Ultra Darge, Kerala Blasters, Avangra Angas Kerdale, Fatorda, Taja Magir Equis Darge, FC Goa, Bangluru FC, Bangluran Kerdale, and the last league game, Yasi Danaji, that the Artavis February, the Chennai FCR. Yah, four games, it's like Poet Dalay, two jo games, Atum, like Kerala Blasters, and the Chennai FC, the Sadia second last and last position are asa. They have no. Uh, interest or uh, no chance to progress in the league with regards to uh, top prize, but uh, pride, as you said in the last show, is something that uh, matters definitely for them. Yeah, Niraj, I didn't. I don't think uh, FC Goa should think on those terms whether sure. the team is in and out of the competition. I mean, they they should go about playing and doing their job as they normally do. Because, uh, like you say, the, the, there must be a there must be teams who want to play for pride. They want to show that they can beat. The, that uh, high-flying FC Goa and it's always creditable for a team who's out of the competition to come and start beating FC, Go FC Goa at their home hometown. So, they will have this in their mind but FC Goa should go there and say okay irrespective of whether they are in or out of the tournament we got to deliver and we have got to uh, get the three points on the given day. Right. Uh, it would have been that much better if FC Goa had uh, won their game uh, in New Delhi but uh, it's a different story now. Uh, four games remaining and FC Goa at least need uh, five points to qualify uh, for uh, the playoffs. Uh, nevertheless, uh, now the attention shifts to uh, the next outing for FC Goa which is at home on 14th February. And if you uh, want to uh, be a part of that uh, huge uh, game, you will have to take part in our uh, prudent FC Goa quiz and answer this question. Grab a chance to support your favourite team in 5th edition of India Super League. Answer this simple question and 5 lucky winners will win couple passes. How many goals did Manuel Lanzaretto score while playing for FC Goa last season? Option A 10, Option B 13, Option C 18. SMS your correct answer, type FC space your option space your name space Taluka and send it to 777-40-444-11. Contest closes on 12th of February at 6 pm. Winners will be announced on our Facebook Prudent page. So Goa, let's football with your favorite channel Prudent. Right, uh, we are all uh, set for this big game. Uh, what is your gut feeling? And now they have eight nine days to recover before the game on 20 uh, before the game on 14. Yeah, definitely. Like Edubedia, Nawaz, and all the players who are having carrying niggles, they they can recuperate and uh, come back uh, strongly again. And I think they have they have to get those three points on 14th uh, because I in fact when I when I this uh, ISL five started, I thought that FC Goa looked very consolidated team and uh, performance was very good with high scoring results. Uh, in earlier on and I thought that they could they would do exactly what Bangalore did got the 30 points and sitting pretty there with too, not too much tension right and I thought that they they would be the second team to do that uh, unfortunately uh, they are they are going to the same pace like they've been last year not exactly but still better. question marks right there's always questions uh, what's going to happen there. struggling to get that consistency yeah. so now they should they should finish it almost with the victory on ATK. Sure, uh, Francis, Bob, uh, thank you very much for being here and looking forward to your company on 15th of February. Thank you. So, uh, that's all the time we have in this show. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye for now.